All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this turbulent effect instead of After Effects. And it's actually pretty simple to do. And I also went ahead and created some presets that you guys can go ahead and try out. I created some free ones and also a paid version where you can go ahead and buy that if you want. But I'll be showing you guys how to install and use those presets later on in the video. And right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into this effect. Now this works with still images and also video. Right now, I just have the still image, but what I wanna do is actually pre-compose this. So right click it and hit pre-compose and then just select this one right here. And now you can see that the picture is now set to our composition and that will just help the turbulent effect and make it look a lot better. So what you want to do is go up to the effects and presets and search up turbulent splice right here. And just drag it onto your clip. And what we want to change here is the amount and size. You can mess with other things like the evolution and maybe like the offset. But for this example, you don't really need to do that. Now this is super customizable and you can change it to however you like it really. So I'm just gonna kind of put in some numbers that you guys can try out here. So what I'm gonna do is for the amount, I'm gonna bring this to 70 and for the size, I'm gonna change this to 50 and then just hit a keyframe for both of those at the start of your clip and then go to the end of it and then bring the amount to zero and I'm gonna bring the size to 170. So now you can see you have that turbulent effect. And if you want, you can easily ease these and then go into the graph editor mess with the graph for both of those just create something that sort of looks like this you don't want it to be too steep on the graph here so just kind of make it pretty subtle like that and now it should look something like that which i think looks super clean and if you want you can obviously mess with these values here you can change the amount to like 100 you can make the size 100 also and then make the ending size like 300 so as you can see, it's super easy to create different styles using this turbulent displace effect. We can even go into the displacement here and change this to a different mode like turbulent smoother. And as you can see, just by changing that, it makes it look totally different. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same effects to this car footage here. So I'm gonna bring on this turbulent displace. Let's make the amount 90 and the size 40. Set a keyframe for both of those and then go to the end. So we're gonna make the size 130 and the amount zero. Once again, we're just gonna go into the graph and change that. And now as you can see, you get this super smooth turbulent effect that works for videos and pictures. Now, if you're lazy and don't wanna create all these different styles, I actually created a preset pack that you can go ahead and download. Installing the presets is actually super simple. You just wanna go into the animation presets and then just select like some default preset here. And then go into these three lines here and then click reveal and explore. And then it'll open up where all your presets are. But you just want to go to the presets tab right here. So you can see all of your different presets that you already have installed. And to install it, you just want to find that preset. Just drag it in here. But I already have it installed here. So I'm not going to go ahead and do this. So I'm just going to exit out of that. But once it's installed, you should see it right here. So then you can go back into After Effects. Click these three lines again. And then just hit Refresh List. And then if you go back into your animation presets, you should see it right here. And you can just go ahead and drag them into your video. Just like that, you have a turbulent effect. Now, if you're messing with the different presets I have here and you drag it into your footage and it just looks a bit off, it may be because the uh, offset right here is not like in the center. And what I mean by that is this little dot right here, as you can see, sometimes it might be like off or like off centered so you just want to bring that to the center here and that should fix it same thing for video too we bring on one of these for this one it was actually centered so we didn't have to do anything but if that point is off centered you just want to make sure that's in the center of your video and yeah that's pretty much all you have to do it's super simple and easy to use i have tons of different styles here that you can choose from horizontal I have vertical and horizontal which i think looks super cool um just a lot of different ones that you can choose from and they all look pretty different and give you a different style so yeah once again i have that link down in the description below where you can go ahead and try it out for free if you want or you can go ahead and buy it which includes all of the different presets here and i'd also really appreciate it as it does help support this channel but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out